Hello everyone, back again. I accidentally hit the off button, so I reckon here we go again. I'm playing against Black Garden. I'm playing my Warrior deck. I'm trying to get this camera at least so it covers. So I'm not really planning on um, conversing. I'm not going to hit the normal. I can probably, yeah. That's when you would solemn warning. So you just went minus there, pal. Good job. I could have saved it for Black Garden or Black Rose or something, but whatever. Okay, so let me read what this does. Normal, special, have the attack, and such a Rose token to the opponent's side of the board. Um, okay. A token kind of matters, but kind of doesn't. The having is a bit annoying. I could go for a 7, I could Black Rose, I could do whatever, but let's save that. Go Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, you got your Command Knight situation going on. And this guy, well, he's at 900 because of Black Garden. Yeah, I'll be glad to get rid of uh, Black Garden whenever I can. Do I take damage that she would take or something like that? You can destroy this card in all face of plants, especially in, okay in the grave so I'm just gonna go full force just go for all the attack here like I said I'm gonna go ahead and play um, some important audio for you to listen to it's about UFOs and Project Bluebeam which is a CIA uh, document you know situation that they create the government creates uh, ships and stuff like not ships but like um, I'm trying to think of the word, like hologram type thing, so people, when they see UFOs and whatnot, they're really seeing the Project Bluebeam, so I'm sure we'll go into this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be dueling here, so thank the you. Rebel Call Channel, welcome to today's show. As we move closer to 2030, and really as we just move closer in this insane reality that they're creating, we have to watch a lot of these stories out there, and also how they're marketing these deceptions to both Democrats and conservatives because, again, a lot of the conservatives out there who follow alt-right media don't realize that they're part of the deception that's going on by participating in that, by participating in being Voting. a Republican versus being a Democrat. You see a lot of this stuff on college campuses going on where they're tricking these kids to, to do protests for one side versus the other, and nobody uses the common no, sense to say, hey, how about we just go after the governments who are responsible, who are waging war on citizens, the governments of both places, right? But instead, they'd side with the civilian side, the civilian side, instead of pointing at the finger at the people responsible for doing it. And of course, when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about conservatives being deceived really into that, but this is the anymore. other thing. I always am concerned about with conservatives because they seem to believe in this UFO deception. They seem to believe that the government's hiding this from them, and it's part of the conspiracy going on is the government's hiding aliens. But the fact of the matter is that the government has something planned around aliens, which is why you've heard about aliens going back to the creation of the television set to create this fabricated reality around you that is ultimately here to deceive you. And aliens do not exist. Demons do exist. We learn this, obviously, by using common sense, right? We learn this with our own Four, eyes. 12. Not to believe in things that we don't see with our own okay. eyes. Not just to take the television's word at it. Now, for those of you that are aware, I know the majority of you are, but there are some new people here. Okay, the whole concept of an alien is derived from the occult. Alistair Crowley, Alistair Crowley summoned this demon Lom. It's an entity. You see it on your screen. He says, today see, they call lot them of angels them look and demons. Just like tomorrow that. they will call them something else. And of course, that oh, wow. is in fact aliens. People don't that? even realize that the... No one goes, how do we have this image of a gray? Right? Did somebody just sit, or, sit there and just go, let me, let me come up with something here, right? The whole depiction of a gray alien, something. which is the alien that we see depicted in movie after movie after movie that all look the same. Okay, this... This has extra life points, so I probably, you know, it is what it is. The longer duels. I want to test against longer duels to see how long I can go. Long, which is a deity. It's easy it's to get 8,000 damage. They once called them angels and demons. They now call Almost them already. aliens. That's what Crowley is referring to. And of course, this has everything to do with not just the acceptance in our society of these demonic entities that they're bringing back, over, but also, also massive deceptions they're going to create in the sky, which is going to thus form a new world order. Remember, the motto, order out of chaos. OK, 
okay? Ultimately, they're creating all this division to eventually unite us. People will be exhausted. They will be mentally exhausted and physically exhausted from all the things that they're waging on us. And people are already right now, psychologically, from the stories we hear on a day-in, day-out basis. But I always use this clip so people out there can understand. When Reagan talks at the UN about how it would take an outside force, how it would take something mm-hmm. like an alien to cause all the nations to come together as one. And ultimately what he's talking about is bringing the nations together as one, as a one world order, a one world down, government, Master. thus a new world order. Good Listen boys. to this speech. We yeah, often yeah. forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize Dang. this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside Our this alien. world. And yet I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What That's could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? So, of I'm course, kind of that, that means, just in order for that to happen, you know, this is the plan. He's telling you what the plan is, right? By telling you that that's what it would take for all of us to have peace, space. unity, right? And as we know, the Antichrist yeah. will come in the name of love and love peace, and this will be part times. of the deception that occurs, because people will be begging for peace, and these people are the ones who are deliberately causing all the division and causing all the chaos. And ultimately, when we see that speech by Reagan, what he fails to mention is that all the problems in the world are caused by the governments in the world, and all these right. governments in the world are doing this to their people. And of course, ultimately, they know by creating a massive deception in the sky that they could unite humanity, but also herd humanity. So here's the story out there being marketed on News Nation, which is kind of mainly a conservative media outlet. Possible UFO reported over LaGuardia Airport. And you see conservatives continue not only to believe in the left-right deception, but also believe in a lot of these other things that they're pushing towards them, like UFOs and aliens, and thinking in their mind, well, the alien thing's got to be real, right? Because there's all these video things that come out here and there, of course, conveniently, here and there, scattered. When you would think if this was really going on, then we'd have millions and millions of documented proof with the technology we have in today's world, right? They leak a little bit to you. And, of course, any type of alien or excuse me, UFO that's been seen in the sky is government aircraft. People out there, I constantly get comments, or I used to get comments, barely anybody comments anymore, but I used to get comments and people would say, I've seen one with my own eyes. I've seen it before. You've seen government aircraft, okay? And it doesn't mean that aliens themselves aren't real, but what they are are demons and demonic entities. So demonic forces are real. And let's take a look at this clip from News Nation who is pushing this, talking about how, whoa, you know, and they show the clip somebody filmed from their from their phone, and of course this makes television, and then people just go, yeah, aliens are real, and then of course when the government decides to release Project Bluebeam, which I've covered many times over, and reveal this stuff that is obviously tested, all these things that they've done, these deceptions in the sky that we've seen, you've probably seen some of the stuff they've done too. with drones in the sky, it's unbelievable the type of technology we've allowed them to allocate over the years. And they have the technology to create this stuff. We've seen them do, you know, see you do some of these concerts like where they do holograms of these people who are dead, like Michael Jackson or Tupac, or supposedly dead, I should say. They do this stuff right in front of our eyes. You don't think that they would use that to their advantage to deceive you into doing and, and, and falling for something that they want you to fall for? Of course. But here's News Nation, again, pumping the UFO deception, calling it things like a flying cylinder spotted from a plane window. Oh, yeah. Was she the only one on the plane that saw it? Apparently. Not attacking my other token. I am going to make you a bet that the next time you get a window seat on a plane, uh, you're going to think of this next story, and you're going to think of the guest. Who is and you're going to be in embarrassment Michelle because you are. Michelle Reyes was flying over New York City with her I'm daughter. I'm flying over she was New York City. By a window. By a um, window. Which she did what a lot of us do. We, you know, take pictures out the window. Because nice we can burn poison in our arms. It's an amazing view. But what Michelle did not expect Shut to up. see was a cylinder-shaped Ed. object zipping across her line of sight near LaGuardia Airport. Of course, it'd be was in it New a York. Bug inside the plane, maybe. The you know. Well, she played the video back to look. Somewhere and random. No, it was not a bug. Whatever it was, it was definitely outside the plane, and it was flying on its own, and it was really, really fast. 
Michelle Reyes joins me. That's now. not, so uh, you know, back. a cause for concern or anything. Something well. is supposedly Michelle, moving so fast outside here. of the plane. First of all, wow, uh, that was Why pretty is that allowed? Mm -hmm. What did you do with the video? What did you and, do and with and the did video? You reach out to authorities to, to reach share out to the Masonic authorities. Thank you for having me. And when I Thanks for having me. The first thing I did was put on my black shirt. Know what I saw, and maybe it was a safety oh hazard. Oh my gosh! Um, I reached out to them. Unfortunately, I didn't have the back from them. They didn't acknowledge covers. my email. Um, and then I sent it to Enigma really Labs it. and the National UFO Database. And any response? Um, Enigma Labs was the only one who responded to me. No, so your dad apparently. Oh, okay. So and I, as I understand, first. your dad is a former Navy guy. So you were able to share with him as well. What did he say? Um, I yeah, I showed it to him first, and he honestly had no idea what it was either. He had no idea. He was just as baffled as I was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. I love it. Um, first word. Tonsillitis, nostril, bill, hip hop, uh, medical bills. Please help us. Did you guys settle on the fact that it maybe was a, a drone? It's going awfully fast to be a drone, but uh, of course, you're yet? trying to desensitize. He thought it may be a drone, but he, he thought, and I, I told him this, and then flag here, and my um, stay So he really didn't have an answer. Shut for up. Me. He was just as clueless as I was. He's seen a lot of things, and this he couldn't give me an answer. But if he had to guess, he would have said drone. So it's a good thing Ben Hansen is here. Um, you know, you host a show called UFO Witness. What do you think oh, about yes, this TikTok exactly video? Oh yes, that's exactly Oh, we got a witch. So this was incredible, uh, honestly, because it, it took a while just for us Come to on, get in touch with Michelle. It wasn't for her posting it on witch. the app. Uh, someone had borrowed sort of uh, oh, stole getting? it from her social media and posted it as if they were her friend. So we had no idea who she was. We were looking up flights and trying to figure out which flight she was on. When we finally were able to contact her, uh, she, for me, has been Thanks. a completely a just up? genuine, sincere. Uh, we've, we, we've now started to analyze the video. Oh, I, I feel a little awkward saying something. this with her here, but <laughs> find no detail. evidence that she faked this or hoaxed it. Uh, I didn't from the beginning, but we had to run it through you know, the, the proper, uh, you know, data analysis. And it's there. It's um, it's very clear, uh, which is unusual. Um, so to me, Another I feel as though this itch, is probably something not terribly far in the distance, but it Another also, battery, there's problems with the theory of it being something as simple as an insect, which I would suspect this was happening, you know, on the ground. We're, we're talking 200 plus miles an hour at this uh, point for a jet is so it passes in about a seventh of a second, and it's it's present in five frames of the video. So there, there's a lot we can dive into. Shiny giants, shiny giants, really fast insect. It definitely doesn't look like an insect. It certainly looks like the Tic Tacs that we've seen in other naval videos as well. And Michelle, did you say there was there was someone else maybe on that flight who you later were able to determine saw this as well? Why do I yeah, like um, this? I had posted the video onto my social media, so and one of the other moms on the flight, um, she said that she had noticed it when she was in the air, too, so I wasn't the only one who saw it, so it was kind of, you know, a little more, like, nerve-wracking that someone else also saw what I saw. Well, I hope the authorities are watching tonight, and I'm sorry to say, oh, you know, that you I bet you are. Get the attention the that local you masons. have when you alerted them they uh, might be. to videos like this. I think it behooves all of us to just at least forward the information. Don't we don't need to make judgment masons. on it, but for heaven's sake, acknowledge that this is unusual. And it certainly does resemble some of the other unusual things we've we've seen before. Thank you right, for again, one in a board getting rid of my field. Look at it. Should then have already done it. Conservatives who come out, they talk about the conspiracy of it. And then all that does is play into the government's trap, right? The majority of people out there don't understand how important Aleister Crowley is to the occult. I've documented this so many times. It is everywhere in our pop culture. No. You can see the Jonas Brothers getting away out in public pretending to be Christian, I didn't wearing to Aleister Crowley on their shirt. Serious. Okay, Aleister Crowley is connected to NASA. Aleister so Crowley and Jack big. Parsons. Jack Parsons, one of the fathers of NASA. Okay, and L. Ron Hubbard. 
who was Hubbard. a founder of Scientology. Hubbard, I know a guy who goes by the name Hubbard on right YouTube. Right around the area where oh, it was born is. They did a lot of these experiments some in New Mexico. He's an experiments he's to bring about probably, he never talks about the bagels. aliens That's from other planets. planets. They're you know, summoning the spirits. spirits. They're bringing things over from the other side, which is ultimately what these magic spells and these rituals are to do. And this is what these things look like. This is law, the entity that he speaks of. It's the exact replica of an alien. In the 1700s, the 1800s, people, you know, they were walking around truth. talking about aliens, but if you look Mark's back at Egyptian constantly. holographics and stuff like that, you see a lot of these drawings, people are like, oh, oh they knew about ancient aliens. Like, yeah, the fallen Central. ones, ancient aliens, demons. Yeah, they knew about them, because they did exist then. The Babylonians were the people then who were summoning those things. It's in a lot of the Babylonian teachings, okay, which, of course, they don't want you to know who follows those Babylonian teachings now. Bagels! People that you can't question or talk about because they follow the Fed. teachings that have to do with summoning they own Israel. They own the CIA. The and, of course, the summon these things. They're huge in Los Angeles and Ukraine. Children and blood. And they don't want to I can't wait for the, the amount of, uh, what do you call it? Those teachings. They want you to think. So the little the box under my video, wiki box. Like I'm going to go ahead and cut for game two, and hopefully I finish this game two off quickly. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Love you.